Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the rollout of last week's beta channel inside a preview build 22635.4000, which did include an interesting new feature when it comes to the widgets board um, using WinUR3 and some other goodies were also thrown in there and I'll leave that video linked down below in the end screen. Um, Microsoft has since updated the change log and the release notes for that latest beta channel build. And um, basically just a quick recap, what it's all about is uh, the seconds, um, showing seconds in the system tray for the date and time, which isn't on by default. And showing seconds for the system tray clock was a feature that did roll out um, a couple of months ago. So if we right click on our taskbar, head to taskbar settings, and in the stable version, click on taskbar behaviors. Um, this is where we get the toggle, show seconds in system tray clock. And as mentioned previously, uses more power. And that is about, according to um, some studies, is about a 1.9% battery time reduction. Um, if you do enable this feature due to obviously that real-time uh, clock now with the seconds ticking away uh, in the background. So that's currently how you enable the seconds in the system track clock in the stable version. Now the update to last week's beta build, Microsoft says now that um, this feature, show seconds in system track clock, is now moving to time and language, date and time, and will be under this section, show time and date in the system tray. So it's a small little change. So um, when this makes it stable, obviously that feature will be moving. So just putting it out there um, um, in case you would be interested and this is a feature you are currently using seconds in the system tray clock. And I think it kind of makes more sense to pop it here under date and time, uh, show time and date in the system tray because it's more applicable to the time and not really customizing the taskbar, I suppose. So, and that's going to be its new home and location. And that's currently being tested uh, in the beta channel. And obviously, when that does roll out, it's stable. And that change uh, does become officially available. I'll keep you guys posted and in the loop. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.